Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be me telling you guys about my experience with cerebral palsy. And, um, yeah, so today's video, it's just, I'm really nervous to talk about this because I never really wanted people to treat me any different. And I don't want people to think that I'm doing this for any type of reason. I'm, I just want to tell you guys my experiences and I hope it makes you feel like you can do anything no matter what condition you have or whatever you have um, I do I want this video to inspire people to let people know like yeah you have this but you can do whatever you want and um I don't know I just hope this video inspires people and um yeah uh if you guys want to hear about my experience if you guys want to know about it let me if you guys want to know about it um continue watching this video like comment subscribe to this channel and um yeah let's get right to it okay so i was born in july um july 15th um summer baby um i well first they told my mom that i was going to be born with down syndrome and um which obviously when i was born that was not the case i wasn't born with down syndrome i was born with a heart a heart condition as well as cerebral palsy um how my mom found out about cerebral palsy was when um i think it was taking me a while to walk and um, i don't remember how old i was but it was taking me a while to walk and um i wanted to, and it was just taking me a while to walk and the doctor came in and she noticed that um my ears are small my ear is smaller like this whole right side this whole side of my face is kind of shut down to where i can't really see this very well out of my right eye um i have a i have a crooked smile and some people say they don't notice it and some people do some people do notice but i i don't know i've always been insecure about my smile but um because like if you notice when i smile this side is kind of, I don't know, like, I just have a crooked smile. Um, the other, it's just this whole, like, the right side of my face is just very kind of shut down a little bit. But, um, and when I walk, I'm a little bit wobbly when I walk. But I don't, I don't think that, I think that I'm just clumsy. I don't think that has to do with my cerebral palsy. But, um, yeah, I have a mild case of it. I'm blessed to say that I have a mild case of it where some people cases, they can't walk. Or they're always, they're in a wheelchair. And, um, I'm sure they can't really talk well, or they can't talk, or they just, or, no, I heard that in some people's cases, they, they're in a wheelchair, and they can't really, you know, they can't really, they can't walk, and, um, they just, and certain, like, nerves, it's just shut down, but, um, I am blessed that I can walk, and I do have, and I do have a mild case of it. But I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna be telling you guys just my experience with high school and stuff like that. With that, um, yeah. So in high in school, I was always in the, um. I don't want to say smaller. I I was always like in the smaller classes. Um, I don't want to say like. I mean, I was in the classes where other kids with disabilities were in. Um. I'm going to be honest, when I was in high school, obviously when I was in high school, I was a teenager and I didn't like that. Not because of the students, only because I didn't like that because I, the teachers always treated me like I could not just do anything, like do much. And I think they were doing that to like protect me. I don't like, they, I think they had good intentions, but in my mind, I'm, I'm just a normal kid. I'm a normal teenager. I was 14. I've I was like 14, 15, I, I was a normal kid, and I was a normal teenager, and I don't want to say like, I mean, I was just a teenager, I just thought, I was just, just a teenager with a little, maybe like, I don't want to say a disability, but I was, I was just a teenager, I was just, I was just a regular teenager that wanted to hang out with their friends and go to the mall and stuff like that, but um, teachers have always like when I would tell somebody, like when I would tell teachers I'm home by myself, they would always look at me like you're not supposed to be home. I was just always treated very really different, and the and the students in school, not in the classes, but in the school, always treated me 
differently when I would tell them like what classes I was in. So I would never tell people what classes I was in. And I never really wanted to talk about it because I never, because people tend to talk down to me like I can't do anything. And I don't like that. I just cannot stand that. I hate when people think that just because we have a disability or something a little bit wrong, we we can't do anything or we have to be talked down to or we've got to be talked to like we're kids, like we're a child. And I always hated that. Um, so I would never tell people that I had cerebral palsy or I would never tell people that I had a heart condition be only because, only because I didn't, only because I didn't want to be treated differently. Because I knew if I told people that I have cerebral palsy or anything, it would, they would just treat me like I'm a different person. And so, um, so yeah, in high school, high school was kind of like just rough to even talk about. Like, I don't know, like, I, it was just... I wouldn't say I was bullied, but I didn't have a lot of friends because a lot of people just thought that, just thought that I was, I don't know, like, um, I'm clearly nervous to talk about this. I don't know. What this, I don't, I'm clearly nervous because I don't, I don't want people thinking that I'm, I don't know. I just don't want to be treated any different at all. So, um, so yeah, so um, and the reason why I'm making this video today is because I want to be able to inspire someone, whoever that is, um, to know that it's okay to be different. And I want them to know that it's, you can do whatever you want to. Please don't let anybody talk down to you. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot do. Because when I tell you, I, when I've told, when I've told people I wanted to be an actress or wanted to be just or wanted to do anything that has to do with the camera or anything people have laughed at me and told me that I should be behind the camera and I didn't want that and um and people have told me just to be behind the camera or don't or just think about working in an office which there's nothing wrong with that but that's not what I want to do that's not something that I I have a passion for. I obviously have a passion for makeup and fashion and giving people advice and talking to people and making them feel better about themselves and um because obviously like, I've watched YouTubers that I've watched YouTubers or, and people on TV that have made me feel like that and I've always wanted to do that for other people and so I'm making this video today to say it's okay to be different. Always try to give me like little like ear pieces to put in like little he hearing aid to put in my ear or they will always try to give me um they always would try to give me like hearing aids to, for my ear they always would try to give me a walker to be able to walk because I have a little bit I walk a little bit different I walk I sometimes wobble when I walk and I don't try to I don't mean to at all but it's just how I am and I am like I do want to fix that but it's a part of me it's a part of me and yeah I can fix it and people would just try to do that and try to fix it and I just realized that I didn't want to fix that I didn't want to do that I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to do that because I don't want to be treated I didn't want to be I never wanted to be treated different I've always wanted to be treated like everybody else another thing I always the teachers will always make me leave class early I think I think they did it because I was a small person and I was tiny and, but at the same time, I wanted to leave with everybody else. I didn't want to leave early. I didn't want to do... It was just a lot of things that I feel like they did it to help me. But in my in my mind, I didn't want to do that because I want to be treated like everybody else. I didn't want I didn't want the extra attention or treatment or, or extra attention. I didn't want that. And now that I'm older, people treat me better. People treat me, it's better, but people still try to treat me like I still, like, can't really do much. Or, like, they're surprised that I do some, that I do things, to do some stuff. Like, um, but no, like, I'm 22. I'm about to be 23 this year. I, I'm gonna be honest, I do drink. I don't drink, I don't drink off, I don't drink a lot, but I do drink. I do wanna, I do like going out and having fun with my friends. I do like hanging out and going places. Um, it's not like I'm home, like, I, it's not like I'm home doing nothing, it's just, it's, 
I'm me. Yeah, I have this little condition, but that's not stopping me to do anything. And that's and that's why I'm making this video to tell you guys like don't let somebody try to slow you down. Don't let somebody to tell you that you can't do anything. Is that whether that's whether if that you do have a heart condition, whether you do have a whether you do have cerebral palsy or something or just you have something else or it doesn't matter like what you have you can do whatever you want to and I want to, and I want to show you guys that people have told me that I shouldn't be a people have told me that I can't be a model people have told me that I shouldn't be an actor she people told me that I shouldn't do YouTube and the, here I am um, this is my journey to tell you that you can't like, tell, tell people that I can be an actress, I can be a model, I can do what I want to do, I can come out with a makeup co collection in the future. That is my dream and um, that is something, I have dreams and I want to fulfill those and I want to share it with you guys. I want to share my journey with you guys too. I have friends that actually treat me the same and treat me, like I've told people, told them that I've had heart surgery or I have heart I have told them I've had a heart condition or I've had told them that, you know, I do have cerebral palsy, but don't treat me any different because I'm the same person. I, I'm, I'm just a regular person with, with a little condition, like with a little condition. I don't like, I don't want to be treated any, any different. I don't want to be treated like I can't do anything in life. So I do have, I am lucky to say that I do have friends that had, that were like that. And I also had friends that or friends that would treat me like well at first but then when I would tell them they would treat me like I couldn't do much people have said like they can't tell that I have cerebral palsy but how can you look at somebody and just tell that you know they have cerebral palsy um with I think that's why like I'm kind of scared of dating because I don't want the guy to treat me any different, which I, which if he did, obviously I would, I would just kick him to the curb. But, um, I didn't have a lot of boyfriends. I didn't, I didn't, um, my last, my last two, my actual, my last relationship was in high school and I have dated and I have dated, but, um, and I've been on dates like since, but if you guys want to know more about my heart condition, um, like this video. Um, let's get this video to 100 likes and I'll talk about it or which I'll talk about it I'll talk about this video. I'll talk about it in the next video anyway um, In the future. I'll talk about this more in the future anyway, but um Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, I hope this inspires somebody to Look at me or look at or just look and say like it doesn't matter what I have I can do anything whether that's you want, whether if you want to do YouTube or whether you want to be um, a model or that's or whether you want to be a doctor or anything, um, just whether you want to be a doctor or anything, just um, just believe in yourself and believe in your dreams and know that you can do it. Um, I know I can do it. And if, if you guys want to follow this journey where anything can happen, where um, um, who knows where I could be in a year. So. Um, yeah, I hope this inspires you, and if it did, um, I'm really happy that it did, and, um, don't judge anyone just by, don't judge anyone by a cover, just, if somebody, just don't judge anyone by it, just don't, just, just don't judge anyone, period, um, so, uh, yeah, because you never know what that person is going through, you never know what that person have, um, so, yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on my social medias, which is at Jayla Marche. Um, on both, on YouTube, on, which is at Jayla Marche. And that's on YouTube, Instagram, as well as Twitter. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys very, very much. And, um, let's start this journey together. Let's keep this journey going. Let's start this journey together. And, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.